Ladies first. Hi, I'm Lola May, and I'm playing uh, Dido in the show. And I'm Lassen Rizugi. I'm French Moroccan. I'm playing uh, the character you know, which is called Aeneas. Who are we? <laughs> um, I think I'm someone who comes from far and comes to that bar, and she's the big star of, of a bar in the 19th district of London. And um, at some point, they're going to fall in love. Um, I think they're two wanderers who find each other, um, find a haven, as it were, in each other. But whether that lasts is for the gods and goddesses to say. <laughs> Definitely. I think I mean, there is something magical about it in the sense that uh, they fall in love because the goddesses want to, that they kind mm -hmm. of, they, she puts like some, um, we call it like uh, in Moroccan, a shur, like magic stuff, like, you know, black magic. It's not nice white magic. <laughs> so they fall in love, you know, and they see each other like uh, differently. And they have this beautiful story which is happening, which is going to end in a mysterious way. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna spoil away. the end, <laughs> but you know, that's yes. why you should yeah. come and see what is happening in the story. Definitely. Yeah, I think they have, like, at least Dido, because she's been hurt, you know, from having to leave her homeland. She swore she would never ever love again. And she's at that bar where she's queen and has had so many propositions. But mm. she, she falls for Aeneas. And I think to her, that's mysterious and you know magical as Lassen said yeah uh, yeah definitely um yeah, it's a good it's, it's point beautiful. yeah because even yeah. Aeneas I mean thinks that he would never fall, fall in love again and actually they have the same more or less I mean philosophy of thinking of life and at some point they're gonna just uh, let it go and uh, you know, and the end I would ones. say Shakespeare the rest is silence as we say Shakespeare <laughs> <laughs> You know what, I, so I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, so you can act, I play Marto. Yes. And so I'm wandering the bar and watching him sing Queen of Another Land. Oh yeah, yeah. So for me, that's beautiful. And I maybe think that's Aeneas's. So yeah, Lola thinks that might be Lassen's favorite song. Queen of another land, but it doesn't come in till the second act, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's, is it my favorite song? I don't know, but I love them all. And I really, we should like uh, really thank uh, Marouf, who is yeah. the composer of the songs. Yeah. And the Hachi as well, which is the writer, because they're beautiful they're words, beautiful, yeah. beautiful melodies. And even though we're rehearsing on a daily basis, we're not fed up. We're not bored and we love singing them every day. That's and true. we can't wait to sing them to the people and That's the audience. But you have to pick one. <laughs> For you? Yes, pick one. I think um, um, is, I mean, she's singing it and it's not because she's next to me. It's 100 Moon. To be born again. 100 Moon because um, it tells the story of my ancestors, our ancestors, you know, we are obviously African backgrounds and she sings it with so much and deep feelings which are related with my uh, history and geography and related to the uh, character story as well. So and I really enjoy as Aeneas and Lassen sitting there and listening to her. She has an amazing voice and um, she's not because she's sitting next to me but she's, <laughs> it's, it's that one because she's so emotional and and uh, I mean, and, and she dives into that melody and music that I think that is uh, her favorite song for me. Am right? I right? Shall we leave it as a mystery? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, it, as, as, he, as Lassen said, we've practiced all the other songs so much that I'm falling in love with the other ones. But before rehearsals, that was literally the only one I learned. I was like, I haven't looked at the other so songs. You've got to buy me a drink right now. <laughs> I've learned a drink 100 after moves. the interview. I know the song. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, oh, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'm, mm. we, we are, I'm not going to talk you know, you know, uh, in your place, 
but I'm very, I mean, I'm speaking genuinely here. I forget the cameras and the context. It's a great opportunity. It's an honor. It's a pleasure being involved in mm -hmm. that project with the Absolutely. actors, with Lola, of course, she's next to me, with uh, the director, Josephine Burton, and all the people who are doing their very best to make that show happen. Thank you. I concur. Mm -hmm. That is a line, uh, I mean, the, all of them, I mean, it's like they're like that little, you know, they're li little flowers, you know, that are a garden with a lot of flowers. But there is one flower that I um, think of it every day, every night, you know, mm. um, is you have to grasp the second life. Oh. And uh, it is something that, you know, I mean, everyone can, I mean, can understand this sentence that we, Whatever we're coming from, England, Africa, Europe, Asia, we have, you know, our like pains mm. and our like doubts and uncertainties and fears, but we have to embrace the second life because it's all we have. The, the magic of the now, the magic of like uh, just the opportunity of being alive and doing what we love, that is a blessing. And this sentence like is uh, taking me to that place. We have to embrace the second life. And um, I'm, doing, I'm going to do my very best to embrace it, yeah. That's so beautiful. Mm. Um, mine isn't going to be as beautiful as that. I go, I, well, I don't know. I, I was, one of my favorite lines is, um, in the context of the play is, and this is not vanity, but it's when um, Aeneas says to Dido, you have a wonderful voice. And for me, it's a moment where, I'm sure she's heard it many times, but I think no, something I, I, shifts. I played so good. He that always forgets the <laughs> well, I deliver recently, it like so amazingly that she says he's he genuine. started forgetting, so it's funny now. Um, but they start, she sees him and she's, that's when she looks at him properly for the first time, I think. And, not for the not that she thinks she's going to fall in love, but she actually looks at him for the first time. Um, but I also love. Um, I mean, there's so many lines. Only she, one. Yeah, I can say two. Only one. <laughs> I said I was going to say. Okay, I also love. Um, um, oh God! Then you can. There's a line that says, "Then you can imagine a future." Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Or even yeah. curve history, mm. remold it. And yeah, mm. just the, the, that, those two words, curve mm. history. Yeah, it's, it's and just, there is one sentence yeah. that I really love, which in your character, Daido, yeah. it's like, if you tell and, and retell, just this, 